Hey you, how are all my beautiful, lovely, wonderful, planty people doing today? I hope you're great. I'm doing great. Um, so today's video, man, you know what? I'll tell you, I started a new job this past week and one week in already and my plants are like, hey, hey, you've been spending every day with me for a year and a half. Where are you going? So. I'm actually filming this after I did the video because <laughs> I had originally recorded like an opening and it was like first thing in the morning, I was waking up, you'll see bits and pieces of it, but um, it's not great. So <laughs> anyway, uh, today I'm just gonna do some, some spot watering and just some tidying up. And I think that's about all I'm gonna get to today. Uh, as far as I remember, I think that was about all that's going to be in this video. Um, I do have uh, another video that I need to film after I filmed this one. <clears throat> I've actually filmed it already. Um, hence the, the background and the red lipstick because Scott requested it. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, but yeah, today's video is just going to be like super chill, vloggy style, um, just checking on plants, doing some watering. Um, I'm also, I'm also, I'm also going to show you um, how I fertilize my plants. So, and what I use to fertilize and how much I put in the water, etc. cetera. Um, I have been asked about that a few times. So I will be doing that as well. Um, also make sure you stay until the end of the video because at the end of this video, uh, I will be letting you guys know about the next upcoming, um, subscriber involved video challenge. So make sure you don't miss that. Um, because I want lots of entries. I want to look at a bunch of stuff. Uh, so make sure you stay till the end for that little announcement. And I think that's, oh, for those of you who are new, <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And for my lovely, wonderful, darling GFP is my gluttons for punishment who keep coming back for more. It is amazing to see you as always. And I love you to little bitty bits. Okay, so without further ado, be prepared because you're about to see me with no makeup on and it's not good. I, it's freshly morning, woke up, puffy face. It's not good. But anyway, here it is. Enjoy. Good morning. I know it's not, it might not be morning where you are, but it's definitely morning here, hence this. So <clears throat> I just finished working my first full week back to work after almost a year and a half and uh i am so <laughs> honestly i don't know how i kept up with all my plants when i worked before i guess it's just like happened slowly they slowly came into the house and it just kind of spiraled from there um anyway so i have lots of plant things to do today so i thought maybe i would just you know make this vlog and then we'll just make it like a day in the life of me a, a new day not I mean it's a new day but I mean it's a it's a new for me day because normally I would do this do you know what I'm saying I haven't coffeeed yet it's 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 still brewing <laughs> oh goodness this is not normally me um well it's this is normally me and then there's the me that you'd normally see <sighs> we're doing it already I always say, I gotta do this, 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 and this, and then we never get to all of it. So let's just see what we can get done. Okay. Let's, let's go do that. I need a coffee. So. Oh, do you hear what I hear? Oh, God. I need it so bad. I'm sorry. All right. I can't even wait. For you Americans and everybody else, I guess, that gets freaked out, this is milk in a bag. So the milk 
goes in the bag and then you cut the little tops off for airflow you know and then you pour it and then you put it back in the fridge you see and we stir and we enjoy When that first sip of coffee touches your soul. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. First we first we do the coffee and then we do the things, right? I think I've said that before. Yeah, you have to. Okay. So the first thing that I have to do is, uh, I woke up this morning feeling like P. Diddy, but drier. So, um, I, I realized, see, that's the problem with the winter time is it gets so incredibly dry. So every morning I wake up and you can hear it in my voice and my nose is dry. My mouth is dry. My throat is dry. My skin is dry. I honestly hate winter so much. Um, anyway, so we need to get a little moisture in this house because myself and the plants are freaking out. So let's go fill the humidifiers first. Hold on. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Good morning, Ivy. We also need to vacuum because we put up all the Christmas decorations and now there's little bits and we need to put that away and I need to clean that out and get rid of that. Oh, and I need to put the laundry in the boys' room. Okay, so this is the first one. I've only got two that I'm running right now. This one I actually got from my ex uh, because he kind of started doing the plant thing. Like, not like I do the plant thing, but, you know. Um, and the plant that he got this for, he didn't need anymore, so... I can't do this with one hand. How do people vlog? Oh my god. Somebody. Oh, okay. No problem. Nothing to see here. Alright. Oh. Oh. I think I look. Alright. We turn it on the filtered water. There we go. While we wait, we coffee. Oh. oh god, just throw it, Nikki. Throw it. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this yet. I'm not waking up. Okay, <clears throat> get your tang on there. I gotta put the top part back on. You know what? I'm just gonna carry it with me. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. people flock. Okay. Oh. Alright. A trick is to get it in here without killing my Monstera. There we go. Oh. Hold on a second, buddy. We gotta put your little top on. Can't go around topless. All right, there we go. I actually really like this humidifier. Once it, get, it gets going, it kicks out a lot. Like I still have my Alec Holmes because I really like them. But this one, I mean, I got it for free. And uh, I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Don't know what brand it is, couldn't tell you. But that's what it looks like. It is dusty. All right. Oh. Oh, I didn't show you guys yet. I think I showed Instagram. Look what I got from Paula. Isn't it cute? Um, we believe it's called a Syngonium Little Star. Um, Syngonium Augustulatum or something like that. It's, anyway, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. And then, <laughs> you guys probably haven't seen this in a while. This is the terrarium we made a while ago and it's been sitting kind of like down here. And of course I had to move everything when I did the tree 
And so I stuck it up here on the shelf. So it's actually going to get some light. But look at the size of those crypts. They're huge. Huge. Um, let me zoom. No, wrong way. Zoom out. There we go. Anyway, uh, so this guy I'm going to have to like take apart and do some <laughs> maintenance with you soon. It just grows like crazy. <laughs> That's not a today chore though. Um, so yeah, here's my tree. It's got some morning sunlight coming in and shining on it. Um, it actually fit in there perfectly. I couldn't have asked for a better fit. Um, yeah. And uh, do I have anything else that's new and cool over here? Um, um, oh, my variegated bilitis growing a new leaf, which, let me take a look at that. Petiole. It's the petiole, like you can see. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little stripe on it, but I don't think it's variegation. So we'll see when that leaf comes out, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go ahead and snip that again anyway. Uh, I got a new, like, super pink leaf there. Eh. Eh. I'm st oh, we got to turn this light on. My little Mills bow. There we go. She's looking good. Look how pretty that strawberry shank is. There's a new leaf coming on the, uh, right there, on the Luxurians. Nice. Everything's looking good in here. And I still have all these plants on my table that nobody wants. Oh, I gotta turn that line on. I gotta let the dog in. Hi, Puddle. Wing sign. I'm gonna clean the glass. You made a mess of it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this light plugged in. Oh goodness, that's a good look. And um, but I can't do that with with one hand, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, it's actually the next day. Um, I ended up getting this like horrible neck and headache. Um, I actually woke up with a headache and a little bit of neck pain. And it's been like going on for a long time. Um, so if there's anybody out there that watches my videos that is like a, I don't know, like a physiotherapist or a doctor of some kind, um, I don't know, maybe you can like let me know what I can do to help it because it's getting to the point and now that I'm back at work and like, um, you know, sitting at a computer again all the time, um, I think it's getting worse. <laughs> And I, I definitely think that my mattress and pillow has something to do with it as well. So anyway, not that anybody cares, but <laughs> if you're a GFP, hopefully you're invested enough to listen to me bitch and moan about my neck. Anyway, um, getting a new pillow today, hoping that helps a little bit, but um, any advice or anybody that's been through like chronic neck pain or something, uh, let me know, let me know. Uh, anyway, so I think what I'm going to do now is, oh, here's my tree. Did I show you my tree? I think I did. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It looks so nice at night um, when the, all the plant lights go off and it's like all aglow. I got my fan on here. Is that too loud? I'm going to shut it off. Hold on. There we go. <clears throat> anyway, when the tree is all aglow and then I have lights um, wow, that's dark. Uh, I have lights all the way around here as well and then on the railing and it looks so pretty. I've tried so hard to get some nice photos, but like they, it just doesn't show up like it does in person. So I kind of, well, here's a photo that I tried to take and it just, it just doesn't do it any justice. <laughs> Anywho, so I think what I'm going to do, uh, now that I'm down a day, I still have um, <clears throat> that special video to record uh, that I was talking to you guys about last week that I was supposed to, you know, <clears throat> use my singing voice for. And then I ended up losing my voice, so I couldn't do the video. Uh, so I have to do that today because it has to be in within the next two days. And of course, I'm back to work tomorrow, and now I'm panicking because it's not done. So I have to do that today as well. 
Um, I am feeling better today, thank goodness. Hope it lasts. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and you guys know me, normally I don't spot water. I'll actually like take each plant to the kitchen and water it from there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my moisture meter around and my finger and I'm just gonna check plants, water what you know is in desperate need of watering and the rest can wait until next weekend. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and do that. So this isn't normally my watering routine. Um, and I know in the last video, I haven't gotten back to these comments yet. <sighs> story of my life, right? Uh, I'm so sorry for that, by the way. You guys are so sweet and so lovely that you watch my videos and you comment and I love your comments. And I have been so crappy lately at replying to your comments and I really need to like get better at that um I know I've been saying that for a while it's like preaching to the choir at this point you guys are like right Nikki mm -hmm, sure <laughs> um I really am sorry um anywho <clears throat> uh somebody had made a comment um what was I even talking about oh my god hold on what was I talking about that was it, that was it. Somebody was asking to show like my full watering routine. I feel like I have a video about watering. I'll have to go back and look. Um, but normally what I would do is literally take each plant into the kitchen, put it on my little drain rack, which I love, um, and water it from there. And that's kind of normally my thing. However, I think I may have to like do like an every other week scenario. So one week I'll just go around, spot check, top up whatever water needs it just to get it by. And then the following weekend, um, I can go around and actually like take them all in. Cause like I said, it does take like literally a day and a half um, if I'm doing the majority of my collection and uh, it takes a lot of time. <sighs> okay, so. Let's go ahead, grab the moisture meter. We'll just walk around and we'll just kind of figure out what needs water and we'll water from there. Okay, let's do that. Guys, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I just like went on Instagram. So if you saw this already, I apologize. But I know like the two uh, groups of people on Instagram and YouTube are not all of the same. So I had to come and share this with you as well. Um, so you guys know that like in my video where I was like getting rid of plants. I was complaining about this one again because it still hasn't bloomed, yada, yada, yada. And I was like really frustrated. I was like, I don't understand why. And a bunch of you guys gave me the best advice. So um, the advice that I took that worked was to take this, put it in a place that doesn't have like uh, grow lights or whatever, just natural sun that it would get at this time of year. And I did that. I took it and I put it in my bedroom on my dresser and look at all of the buds. Look at all of the buds. Oh my goodness. And look at this. Look at this. So <clears throat> these ones, when they fully open, have this beautiful like pinky center. It's, it's a stunning, stunning stunning thanksgiving cactus so thank you guys so much for those of you who gave me that advice it worked i am forever indebted to you <laughs> because i mean i mean a cool green uh, thanksgiving cactus is cool and all but like the blooms are just so beautiful and so it was really disappointing when I couldn't get it to bloom and now it is and I owe you guys so much. So sorry, I just had to stop and say thank you so much for that because <sighs> I'm very appreciative. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I just had to show you that because I was super, super excited if that wasn't really glaringly obvious. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna give her a little slurp while we're in here. There we go. This is the drain rack I was talking about if you haven't seen this before. I got it on Amazon and they are the best accessory for a plant person. It's really nice because it can drain all the way out and you can see when it stops dripping um, and it just gives the plant a chance to like completely, you know, flush through. Um, I didn't water this one a ton anyways, but it is fertilizer week. So, um, 
I got my water with fertilizer. When I mix the next batch, I'll show you guys like how I mix it and stuff. Um, I've been <laughs> slacking on the fertilizer lately. Like I'll do it like, I don't know. You should be doing it, in my opinion, I usually do it once a month, but I've been slacking. I've been slacking. So I think I haven't actually fertilized fertilized with like a, a strong fertilizer in probably like maybe two months. <laughs> And so I started to notice some changes on my plants and I was like, oh yeah, Nikki, get your shit together. Um, anyway, so when I mix it, I'll show you what I use and how much I put in and all of that jazz in case you're interested. Um, it is a huge help. You have to fertilize your plants. It's just, you gotta, you just gotta do it. I know I keep, I, I say this all the time. So today I'm gonna heed my advice and try to remember to do it once a month. <laughs> okay, let's move along. Okay, we'll start here. Hopefully you guys can see well enough. So the first one here is my Squamy Ferrum. And let me see if I can show you like how big <laughs> this thing is. If it'll even come off on camera. Okay, so there's the bottom. <laughs> there's the top. This plant is probably about four feet tall. It's not really coming off well on camera so you can see the height, but it is crazy huge this thing grows like a beast <clears throat> and i love it all right let's check some soil first i'll check it with the moisture meter and it is like a zero you probably can't see that from here maybe <clears throat> so your girl's dry hi oh gosh oh oh i'm spilling water so i'm just gonna go ahead and give her enough water to get her through until next week. Um, the other thing that I like to do when I'm doing spot watering is I will carry around this. And this is a lifesaver because it never fails that at least a couple of my plants, the tray will start to overflow. And that's another reason why I really like to, to water in the kitchen and just let it flush through. I mean, you should be doing that anyway. You should be letting your plants like flush through, but <clears throat> sorry, Ugh. still have morning voice. Um, so you should be letting your plants flush through. But like I said, when I go around and just do spot watering, when I'm in a hurry, <laughs> um, it sometimes happens that it overflows. So you can just use this, stick it down in the tray and just go whoop and suck up the water and it's a lifesaver. <laughs> it has saved my furniture. Uh, yeah. So anyway, it's coming up in the bottom of this tray, but it's not a lot. So I'm just gonna let the plant suck the rest of that water up um, because normally I would flush it through a couple times and really soak it. So the water that's left in that tray is absolutely fine. It's not gonna rot the roots, anything like that. Um, and it was dry enough that you know, it'll just, the plant will just use that water and it won't be an issue. Um, <clears throat> this is another one that I'm going to have to repot soon. Um, I think it's been in that soil for at least a year and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's just getting so big that I think it's probably going to, to need a change here shortly. Okay, let's move to the next plant here okay so the next one is my florida ghost and let me set this stuff down and i'll show you guys how big she is <laughs> okay all right so this is her right here in the middle this is my beauty she's she's next door um so florida ghost eh, am i even aiming at it sort of you're on a tripod that's her newest leaf right there yeah <laughs> I'm like holding it up in the air. It's uh, it's getting really close to that light, which I actually have to replace because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the three, that one, this one, and the one at the back have actually dimmed. So I don't know if part of the little diodes that are in there are out, but it's only the center and this front one that are like properly lit. And for the plants I have over here, it's just not enough, so. That's frustrating. But anyways, uh, the other one here is my uh, Spathophyllum Picasso or my Peace Lily Picasso. Uh, so it's like a variegated Peace Lily. It's so, so pretty. Like, look at these leaves. Is it focusing on these leaves? Not really. 
Anyway, really, really pretty little plant. And I had to pull it out of my cabinet. It was in my cabinet, um, but it was not really thriving in there. And if, you know, if it, it, it and it doesn't need, <laughs> it, 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 um, it doesn't need like crazy high humidity. It's a peace lily. They're, they're pretty content with whatever. Um, so I took it out of there and I put it here where I could see it constantly. And I remember to water it because I was forever forgetting to water it. And this peace lily is no different than any other peace lily. <laughs> if they're not watered constantly, they will droop. And since I pulled it out here and I've been really attentive, it has sh uh, shot off two new um, like plantlets and it's really starting to fill in. It does need to get a little bit more light than where I have it right now. Um, also, these three uh, plants, the Squamiferum, the Beauty, and the, the Ghost, um, aren't going to be able to be up here for too much longer. They're going to hit the ceiling, and uh, we're already kind of running into some lighting issues, so I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, to be quite honest. Um, anywho, Let's see if they need some water. So, oh, she dry. I knew it was gonna need water anyway. And the ghost also is almost out of zero. You can tell I've been like working because normally my plants don't go below a two. I usually don't let them get that far. Um, but yeah, I've been busy. So I'll just give her some water with some fertilizer there. Uh, the ghost, I know I've said it before, but if you haven't heard me mention it before, Florida ghosts uh, are heavy feeders. So they really like um, like a nice strong fertilizer. So I'm using Schultz actually. Um, Schultz and uh, Miracle Grow are actually my two favorite fertilizers. And <clears throat> uh, they have done wonders for my plants. So, um, if you haven't heard me mention it before. So my, my basically my, my routine as far as fertilizing stuff goes is I fertilize once a month and then every other watering, I use my liquid dirt like all the time. Um, so they, they get watered constantly with liquid dirt and then on the, uh, the once a month watering that I fertilize, um, I use the Schultz or the liquid dirt like liquid fertilizer. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Okay, uh, let's move along over here. Let me set these down. <laughs> okay, so here we have uh, this gorgeous babe is the Anthurium Esmeraldense. Um, beautiful leaf. Look at the ripples. Oh, it's so pretty. This is such an underrated anthurium. It's really, really robust and sturdy. Um, <clears throat> it's not picky at all. <laughs> it's had thrips, like, I don't know, constantly. Uh, it doesn't now. I finally figured that out, got rid of them or whatever. Um, but it, uh, it just took a licking and kept on ticking. Uh, this right here was from me underwatering. See that hole right over there? Uh, that's my bad. Anyway, but that new leaf or the newest leaf is just so stinking beautiful. Um, and hopefully we'll get another new leaf here shortly. Um, anyway, so there's that. And then there's my Florida Beauty, which I still haven't decided whether I want to chop. I'm not a fan of this, the way it's growing right now, to be completely honest. Um, anyway, so... There's one of her leaves. This is her newest leaf and they're starting to get small. Um, that one's so pretty. That one's gonna be gorgeous. It's not hardened off yet, um, but it's really, really pretty. Anyway, so that's the, the Florida Beauty. So let's check and see if these guys need some water. And of course I went and put this back down. Eh. All right. <clears throat> so, Florida Beauty. Okay, she's uh, just under a three, between a two and a three, so I am gonna give her a bit of water. And you wanna, when you're using these, I usually double up. It is a little bit. It's slightly, slightly damp, so I'm not gonna give it a ton. Um, and the ones that, if you're not sure, I always combine this as like, 
I'll check it first with this and then I'll double check with my finger on the ones that I think might be sensitive or uh, dry out faster or things like that. Like you'll get to know your pots, your plants, and this pot I know holds water a little bit more. Um, so I always double check with my finger on this one. Uh, whereas like my ghost, I know that one dries out really fast. Same with my Squammy, um, it dries out fast, but this pot tends to hold a little bit more moisture. So, okay. Oh, I didn't even check this one. <laughs> oh, Nikki. And it's dry as well. Okay. I'm gonna have to refill here. So I put this, uh, oh, you can't even see it, sorry. I put the moss on the top of most of my anthuriums. I think I've got it on all of them now. And it just helps keep the node at the bottom, that's gonna overflow. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and this one doesn't have a whole lot of space. Oh, saved. This is what panic mode no Nikki looks like. It did overfill a little bit, but I think that's because I shoved the pot over so fast. And then I just squirt it into whatever plants nearby. Here we go. <laughs> Crisis averted. I'll uh, come and tidy up the sp spots I dripped later. Okay. <clears throat> so, well, that worked out. Okay, I'm gonna refill my watering can and I will be right back. All right, we got water. I try to get all the way around so that all of the soil gets it and not just like the front. You wanna make sure because if you don't, um, <clears throat> some roots are gonna get more water than other roots. Uh, which could potentially kill off the roots that aren't getting enough water. Um, so this just creates a stronger root system, making sure that all of the roots are getting even water, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not going to worry about the plants in the cabinet right now. Um, I might, after I go around and water the ones on the shelves, I might take a couple of these out. So my queen, let me open this so you can actually see. Oh. <laughs> so <clears throat> the queen is uh, definitely in desperate need of a, a new pot. Maybe we can do that today. Maybe we can do that today. <clears throat> we'll see, we'll see. If not, I might do it today, film it, and then put it in next week's video. So we'll see what happens. I have a feeling this, feeling, I mean, always, the video is gonna be long anyways. Um, but yeah, that one definitely needs a new pot. She's got so many roots in there, it's crazy. Um, and I think that's why she hasn't thrown out a new leaf in a long time. So we're, we're, we're in need of a fix there. Look at this. Look, it's so beautiful. Well, she's got some spots. Why do you have spots? I don't know. Um, Anyway, we're gonna leave everything in there alone for today. And uh, if I have time, I'll take them out and water them. These guys usually need, like, I think somebody had asked me like how I water these. And I did mention it briefly in my cabinet update, my terrarium update, but I literally just pop these little pots out and then I'll just take them to the sink and water them. Need roots. So that's what I do. I just take them to the sink and I give them a water. All right, so we'll see if we have time for that, but I digress. Let's move along to over here. <laughs> You're on my tripod, so this is like super awkward. Um, we're also gonna leave this cabinet alone and my little one. So we're just gonna focus over, let me move this here. I think let's hold you up a little. Maybe I'll just raise you up a little. Hold on, let me let me figure out the camera situation. One sec. Okay, I think that's better. 
ish. All right, let's check some. Where now? Where did I put my Where did I put my moisture meter? Oh, you know what? I'd lose my dang head if it wasn't attached. Are you guys like that? <laughs> I'm also one of those types of people who walk into a room, and I'm like on a mission. I walk into a room with like authority, and I'm walking, and then I get there, and I'm like, I don't know why I came in here. And then like an hour later when I've, you know, worked it out, then I come back. Okay, I found it. <laughs> All right, so, oh, sorry about my fat head. So the first one here is my Alocasia Cupria, who's got a new leaf working out the back here, if you can see that, hold on. She's got a new leaf coming right there. <laughs> All right, she feels a little bit heavy. These guys ones were watered fairly recently. Okay, she's fine. This is my poor little um, Anthurium Magnificum Silver. She's lost the other two leaves she had, and um, this one's not looking the greatest. So, and I know it looks like it's in a massive pot, but there's so many roots in this plant that I didn't have a choice but to put it in a bigger pot. You can see all the roots in there. Um, so I try to be careful it looks like it actually might finally need water. I only water this one every, oh, why is the back? Okay, no, I'm gonna leave her alone a little bit longer. Um, I only water this one maybe every couple of weeks. <clears throat> These plastic pots definitely hold more water than most of my other pots. Okay, at the back here, which you probably can't see, let me move this for a second. This is my little strawberry begonia, my variegated one which is really backlit, can you see it? It's so pretty. Um, these, This one I have to water at the sink, but she doesn't need water yet, so. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna set her down. All right, and back here, let's see if I can turn you a little. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Does that help at all? <laughs> Okay, anyway, here we have my um, Philodendron Majestic, who I love. I'm obsessed with this plant. These leaves are just beautiful. And she's got a new leaf coming on that side. And then there's a new little one coming underneath here. Love this plant. So I've got two plants potted in here so they can grow up either side of the pole and make a fuller plant. Oh my God, there's lots of roots down there. Okay, she's at about a three, but I'm gonna test, with the larger pots like this, I like to test multiple spots around the plant because sometimes, especially if you have light, for example, like this one, that side is facing the window um, and has the light beating directly on it. So usually that side will dry out faster and it is a little bit more dry. Um, I'm gonna just top her up a little bit. She doesn't need a ton. There we go, that'll get her through. Okay, now my Epipremnum, who I am so obsessed with at this particular moment in time. Let's see if I can, look how pretty she is. Oh. She's getting these like big variegated holy leaves. And let me move this one over a little. Move over. Her new leaf right here. Oh, look at it. I love this plant so much. One of the best plant purchases ever. I should probably do like a favorite plants of November before November's over. Maybe I'll film that <clears throat> and then post it, you know, two weeks into December. Anywho, this guy tends to dry out rather quickly and I know that, but I did top it up not long ago. So it's still at a four. So I'm not gonna give her any water, but I am making a mental note that she's not super, super wet. So I may actually come back in about two days and just check her again to see, um, because it is in a smaller pot. It's not, not that you can see that, hold on, yoink. Uh, you still can't see it. <laughs> yeah. 
there we go. Anyway, it's not in a crazy big pot. I think this is a six inch. And so six, yeah. Um, so it does tend to dry out a little bit more quickly. So there's that one. Now let's move. Sorry about this like super great camera work. This is really difficult to do actually. Okay, that's probably good for the rest of them, right? All right, here we have my elbow syngonium. Um, this guy has been in the same pot for quite some time and is probably one that's going to need repotting sooner rather than later. Um, because eventually, as you know, <laughs> the nutrients in the soil just stop providing and it's at a zero as well. <laughs> so we'll give her some water. It dries out really fast and that's a good indication that it needs to be repotted. There we go. And the water drains through incredibly quickly. Um, so that's another indication to me that she may need a little help. This is my new little guy from Paula, who probably is okay. I'm not gonna use the moisture mirror. I'm just gonna use my finger. Um, it's, it's not, there we go. It just need a little touch. All right, then we have this Nangara Tense back here who hates me. Uh, it needs a little bit of water. There we go. And last but not least on this shelf is my Pasta Xanum Silver back here. There she is. She's so pretty. That's her new leaf right there. I need to get some long pots. I still haven't uh, got a line on those yet. Oh, she dry. That one also dries out really, really fast. So. There we go. Okay, that's, oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's all the plants on this shelf. So let's take a look down below. Okay. Hopefully this is going to be a good angle. Oh my God. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay. Hopefully this is going to be a good angle. <laughs> if not, you know, whatever. I'm uh, not a videographer by any means. Um, so we have my Thai constellation here. Look at this leaf. Oh, oh, so pretty. Um, still don't have <laughs> A new leaf coming, which is annoying, but let's check her. I watered her not too long ago. Oh, and she needs water again. Wow. <laughs> I repotted this in the spring. So, wow. Yeah, she's dry. Okay. Let's go ahead and give her. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So next, we have my little <laughs> tiny regal shield here, my alocasia. And it is dry as always. This one definitely needs a repot. Um, I'm gonna try to hold off until the spring. I, th I just don't think I'm gonna have time. Or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. So there she is. And I think I'll just take you down off of the tripod for the bottom ones because it's going to be too difficult otherwise. Oh, okay. Let's go for a trip. Ready? Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Oh, gosh. We're stuck. All right. Okay. 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 Down here. So... We have this beautiful plant in here, if I can get to the leaf. This is my Preso Verde. Look, look, Thai Constellation, you had your moment, right? Anyway, there she is. It's so pretty. Look. Let's check and see if she needs some water. Uh, she does not. She's still good. All right, next to that, we have my Florida bronze. Oh, goodness. 
if I can even get the oh man I think she's got lots of roots down there she'll probably need to be repotted I'm gonna give her a little slurp there we go and beside that here we have my snowdrift who is also thirsty go and now I need to refill my water again oh, story of my life okay um so the other two plants here <laughs> my humidifier go that way for a second um last two plants in here are my variegated giganteum and my philodendron tortum so I'm just gonna check these on my own because because it's behind this big tie constellation it's hard to like hold the camera and and check them so I'm gonna set you down Let's see, can you see from here? Let's see. <laughs> no, but there, there's a, there's a cute view of uh, some Christmas decor. Okay, <laughs> let me reach in behind. And the Gigantium is okay. And excuse me, Mr. Ty. Oh boy. And the tortum is okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. And up here, while I'm over here, I'm just gonna check this. Mandulopothos, which is also okay. All right, put those back. And try to stand up. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I checked those and I also checked my mandula and it is okay. This plant is crazy. Check this new leaf out, isn't that pretty? So what I'm trying to do, it's grown all the way up to the top and now I'm trying to get it to trail back down. So I need to stick that one kind of down there. And it's also got a tiny little, little plant like coming there, so cute. Okay, um, the ones on the top I just watered recently. Um, it looks so dark up there, I promise it's not. Um, so those are okay. I'm not gonna worry about those right now. And we'll go over here and check some of these. Okay, there we go. I think we're good right there. So, um, this is my <laughs> Alocasia Dragon Scale. Look how pretty that is. I'm hoping you can see it. I can't see the, the viewfinder <laughs> from here. <laughs> oh, Nikki, Nikki. Let's give her a check. These I watered uh, recently, I think, as well. So they should be okay. Yep, she's okay. And then my Debaya, which I have some stuff to do here soon with and I'm very excited about. So this is just my little, let me try to take her out here. So this is the cutting that I took off the top. There she is. She's looking so pretty. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was thrips. It was just soil. I'll just give them a check too, because you never know. Okay, she's looking good. So we'll set her back there. She's in moss right now, so she's still got enough moisture and then here we have my uh plum anii so we'll check her she is dry while i'm here i'll just check my bono who dries out really quickly so i'm sure she needs uh, water yep she probably also needs a new pot she's growing so fast so Plum Anii and Jose. Do you guys remember what my Jose's name is? <laughs> if you remember what I called my Jose Bono, write it down in the comments. I'll give you a second and then I'll tell you. Okay. 
let's, so this Ruby Cascade needs water. So we'll take her to the sink, but look how big she's getting. I can't even like come up that far. It's so pretty. Oh, I guess I do have Peperomia. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> That's different though, right? These ones I find are so much easier. All right. There, you can probably see things a little better now. Um, so let's see if you guessed right. My Jose Bono, there's her new leaf, his new leaf, I guess. Um, I called him Enrique. <laughs> so pat yourself on the back, give yourself a clap if you got it right. Um, okay, here is my Monstera Aurea, my pride and joy. Let's see if I can get you closer. That's kind of backlit a little bit, but that's her newest leaf there. <laughs> it's hard to see the variegation with the light coming through the back. This guy grows really fast, actually. She's so pretty. All right. It feels a little bit heavy, so I don't think she's going to need water, but let's check anyway. It might just be the pot. And it is. See, this just goes to show you, you never really know. Yeah, she's dry. Wow. Okay. Let's give her some water. There we go. You know what? I forgot my little, oh, I gotta get my, ah, in case it overflows. Wait, oh my gosh. Where'd I put it? Where'd it go? Oh, this could be bad. Oh, here it is in the kitchen. Are you guys watching it to make sure it doesn't overflow while I'm, <laughs> Okay, okay, ooh, that was close. I'm just gonna scoot some water out of there. We'll put that over there. This guy's got a little in the bottom too. There we go, okay. Crisis averted, oh my goodness. All right, now. I don't know if I can get you to where you can see these other ones very well. Let me move my table. Do, 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 do. I'll take my ruby into the kitchen. There, we'll set her in the sink. <sighs> I'm telling you, having this like wireless mic has been fabulous. Cause then if I have to like, walk away and do something, you can still hear me rambling on because, you know, I know everybody loves that. Um, all right. I guess that's a little bit better of a view. Still not great, but it is what it is. So what do we got up here? So this is my uh, variegated billeti. I gave it a little bit of a squirt from the trays here, but I am going to give her a little bit of a topper. There we go. And this is my El Chaco who is throwing out a new leaf. So yep, she's dry as a bone. I wanna make sure that she's got enough moisture to put that beautiful new leaf out. And now I need more water. Okay, we got some more water. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that could not have been any closer to overflowing. Wonderful sounds, eh? <laughs> the acoustics. Okay, give my whole yeah. Chaco a little bit more water. There we go. And the last plant that I'm gonna check here is my beautiful Diffenbachia reflector. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on my Diffenbachias lately, and I'm wondering if I should do a video on them. Like, I don't really know what I would say. You know what I mean? It could use just a smidgen of a topper. So we'll just give it a smidgen. That is a actual unit of measure. I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I'm not really sure what I could say about the Diffenbachia, but oh goodness. Um, if you guys want a video, I guess I could figure it out. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see a video on Diffenbachia because 
Uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions about them. Okay, let's move down to the bottom here. Let's, uh, we'll crank you down. Whee! Isn't that fun? That's fun. All right, we'll put you here and then we'll angle you this way. Perfect. So we have this guy. This is my Monstera Esqueleto. And look at this new leaf. Let's move Santa. <laughs> look, look, can you see it? It's gonna be huge. Let's check. Um, it's still okay. And then behind that, we have my Philodendron Esmeraldense right here. So let's check her. Oh, that feels dry. She could probably use a little slurp. And then beside that is my elbow and she's dry. So we'll give a little slurp to the Esmeraldense. And a larger slurp to the elbow. There we go. Okay. Beside them, we have my pink princess, who is always dry. Yep. And we'll probably need more water than the. Oh my God! There's a plug line in there. Oh, oh. Ah. Sorry. That's myself. I'm making fun of myself. Okay, we need more water. Okay, we have refilled water. There we go. And oh, that, I know that's gonna need a little bit. And she's going to need a little bit. My varicosum is always thirsty, so I don't even need to check. And same with my mammy back in the corner here. She's always thirsty as well. So give her some water. And there we go. That's all the ones on the bottom. Now I'm going to stand up on the couch. Try not to kill myself. Let's put you guys back up. Let's see if I can get you up high enough. Whee! Isn't that fun? Okay, that's as high as I can get you, but I'll tilt you upwards. <laughs> oh, that's a great angle. Lovely lighting, Nikki. Good job. All right. I know that, whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my string of hearts, my variegated string of hearts, and it's always thirsty. And my silver dragon, who is also always thirsty. Um, and I think this guy's okay. Maybe a slurp, I'll give her a slurp. So this is, not that you can see it, uh, future Nikki, try to lighten that up a little. Uh, that's my Amidrium Zipolanium, I just love it. It's got these big, palmy kind of leaves, you know? And then this is my Vitarifolium. We'll just give her a little drink there. She's got a new leaf coming out. That's exciting. Okay, that's all the plants there. Um, the only other ones are, okay, are these two. So this, um, I just finished treating it. It had, oh, it still has, there's one, ugh. The mealybug situation is real right now, guys. I don't know where they came from even, like especially on this side, there was nothing. I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is a combination of Brazil and um, Golden Pothos. It's just beautiful. And I was really sad when I saw that it had mealies because it's really long. It actually trails off over the railing. And then up here we have this sad thing that will definitely need water because I haven't watered her recently. Oh, she's got, are you serious? Okay, you know what? She's gonna come down. We're gonna take her into the kitchen and treat her because I see a couple thrips and I'm not down with that. So you can just come this way, lady. She looks so sad. Ugh. 
freaking heartbreaking. Okay, put her in the sink. And then we'll come back and I'll just throw a little bit of water into this pothos. There we go. Okay, so that's all the plants on this side and I've got a little bit of water left in here. Um, so I kind of need to make some more. So I think what we'll do now is I'll take you back to the sink and I'll show you how I mix my fertilizer water. And then uh, we'll just water the stuff over there. Okay, first I gotta deal with her. So let's give her some water. Poor sad baby. Oh, she looks so sad. Uh, okay, we will get my little spray, my little homemade spray. So this is a mixture of water, uh, insecticidal soap, and rubbing alcohol, because I like to cross all my bases. And this stuff has worked great. Um, people keep recommending in the comments <laughs> Uh, to use a like spinosad. Um, I know that they work, but it's illegal in Canada. I know some people end up getting their hands on some, but it's not easy to come across and I can't bring it across the border because <laughs> I've tried. Um, so I appreciate those of you who are recommending it. I know that works and if you can get your hands on it, definitely do because they do work really well, the um, uh, systemics. Just get the, all oh, this poor thing. I'm so sorry. You guys apologize to your plants. <laughs> all right, so there she is. So we'll just set her there and let her drain off. There we go. Okay, now I need to make some more, where am I gonna put this? I'll put it over here. Uh, I need to make some more solution, water solution. So I reuse all of these orange juice jugs. I think I have six of them. And when I am watering my entire collection, like all the way through, I have to refill these usually about four times, maybe four and a half times, all six of them. Um, so I basically just fill them up. I use like cool water, but not cold. So it's kind of like not quite as warm as like room temperature but close. You don't want to like shock them with super cold water. So I'm just going to do two to show you like how much I put in and stuff like that. Um, and then I'll just do the rest off camera because nobody wants to see me fill six jugs. Okay, there's one. Usually um, I have these Full, like once I'm finished watering everything, I keep them full. And I don't do this with fertilizer, but I do it with the liquider because it can sit and kind of like store. So if I'm watering with liquider, I just fill them all up, put my liquider in and then set them uh, aside. And then when it's all ready for me to, to use this sort of thing. Okay, so there's my two jugs. And the fertilizer I need, of course, is in the cabinet that's right here. Well, okay. So this is it, the Schultz uh, 10, 15, 10. And it's a concentrate. So when you're using this, you have to make sure you shake it up really well. Uh, so each of these are 2.63 liters. Uh, I apologize, I don't know what that is in gallons <laughs> or whatever. Um, so for that, uh, and it says to use, I think it's seven drops per liter. So usually I put about 16 drops in each, which works out to be just under probably where it should be, which is totally fine. So we'll 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Here we go. Okay, and then we put the lids on. And make sure you shake them up. There's one. There's two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest off camera because uh, it's boring. And uh, I will be back. Okay, I figured I might as well show you guys this too. Um, I only needed to do a little bit more fertilizer because the rest of the plants, or half of the rest of the plants have already been fertilized last weekend. Um, so I'm actually gonna mix up some of my regular water with my liquider. And I figured I'd show you that, show you like how much I use. And then I'm gonna need to make a new batch. So at the same time, I'll show you um, how I mix that up. Cause I know in the beginning I was like super confused. <laughs> okay, so um, when I'm filling my jugs with liquid dirt, um, I fill the water up to about there. So it's like, if you guys have these, <laughs> these, this size of jug, it's, it's that full, <laughs> if that helps you at all. And then I take my liquid dirt mix and it's really important to like really shake this stuff because it does tend to separate a little. So this is the pre-made stuff that I just keep in this jug. And then I literally just fill it to the neck there. And then that can sit and be used whenever. So we'll use the last of this stuff up and then we'll mix some more. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, and of course I have one jug left and no more liquid dirt. So, I will show you how I mix that up. So I use these big water jugs. So these jugs are four liters. Um, if I remember, I'll try to put the gallon equivalent on the screen. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up. So my water is filtered. I have a like thing under my sink. Um, they say to use like, like spring water or something. So I originally bought these jugs of water. They are spring water. And I actually have another one that I'm gonna fill up as well. So let me grab that. There's the second one. And my liquid dirt. This stuff lasts forever. The initial investment is a little pricier, like for, like you look at this tiny package and you go, what? I think it was like 40 or $50. So I was like, kind of like sticker shocked a little bit, but I've literally had this for, I don't even know, like forever. And it's still like here maybe. Oh gosh, pay attention, Nikki, jeez. All right, let's dump a little bit of that out. There we go. Okay, so when you're making your liquid art, let's take the lid off. And this is why it um, lasts so long because you don't need a lot. This is like really, really concentrated. It can be a little messy, that's the only problem. So you take your little cap, you fill your little cap up, hopefully not spilling it and then you just dump it in the water and that is literally all you need. A little cap full. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a mess. Okay, good job, Nikki. All right, well, <laughs> that's so gross. All right, clean up my mess. Oh, 
There we go. All right. Lids. And then, oh my god! <laughs> it's slippery. Okay. <laughs> Hold on tight and give it a good shake. <laughs> there. Now I have two big jugs of liquid dirt ready to use. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, we're back to it. Okay, so the first plant is this ginormous beast. Oh my gosh. So this is my, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, uh, my Philodendron Gloriosum. It is massive. Like the size of these leaves are crazy. Uh, she's got a new one, right? Oh my gosh, can you see that? Maybe? <laughs> I'll show you. There, she's got a new leaf right here. Is that a thrips? Yes. Oh, frustrating. Anyway, this plant is so, so huge. Um, let's check if she needs water. <laughs> All right. So I stuck it down as far as it would go. You really want to get like, oh, you can't see that. Oh my goodness. There we go. So I stuck it all the way down into the soil. So it gets as far down in there as possible. Cause obviously, you know, like gravity and science, um, the water will be at the bottom. Uh, the top obviously will dry out first. So it's showing about a three on that side. Let's check this side. And that side, that's so weird how that happens, is showing like a five. So even when you water, <laughs> even, even when you water evenly, this sometimes happens. Um, so I'm just going to give her a little bit of a slurp more so on this side. There. And that will be okay for her. Pretty baby. I love this plant so much. It's like a bush at this point. Okay, <clears throat> let's move this way. Sorry, Ivy. Move. No. Oh, geez. Okay. <clears throat> the next plant is my Debaya. So there's her pot right there. <laughs> and let's look up. Oh, okay. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but let me take you. Do you see that new leaf? Look, it's finally growing. So that first one will be tiny. It's usually the way it works. And then the next leaf should be a decent size. So I'm actually gonna have to move this light and I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens. But coming up soon here, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, repot it because I've been saying that forever. And that cutting that I showed you earlier, we're gonna also pot that in the new pot and have two of them growing up somehow. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and check and see if she needs water. We'll bend you back down. And this always needs water, like always. Yep, she's a dry. So she hasn't been repotted in a, like, well, I think basically since I got it, um, so that soil is like void of nutrients. So giving her a shot of this fertilizer will help. And it dries out really, really, really quickly. There we go. And I've got my little squeezy thing handy because this one tends to overflow on me a lot. It's so funny, her aerial roots, I'll insert a photo here of what I'm talking about. But her aerial roots are so crazy. They've come down here, gone into the tray around the bottom of the pot, and they've just kind of like wound themselves down into the tray. So those aerial roots are getting some water as well when I water this guy. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's not going to overflow. All right. So that's her taken care of. 
So let's move on to the shelf beside here. There we go. Okay, so uh, the Hoyas are on the shelf up there. And then above that are my um, <sighs> cacti and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna worry about those today because those have been watered recently. It's just these aeroids right here that I'm concerned with. So let's grab our moisture meter and our water. And let's do some chicken. This is my, oh my gosh, ring of fire, super thirsty. There we go. Behind that is my 69686, also really thirsty. My variegated bro marks, also thirsty. <laughs> See a pattern here. Okay. This guy will be thirsty. This is one of the two um, Anthurium Padatum, I think. And these particular, uh, <laughs> pots, the ones with the holes are, they dry out so, so fast. So I usually just fill it up and that should be okay. And just let the water in the tray soak up into the plant because they dry out really, really fast. It's already starting to go down. Okay, gotta get some more water and then we'll do the last four plants on this shelf anyway. All right. <coughs> Here we have my painted lady who desperately needs a new pot. And she's so dry, so dry. I need to clean my shelves too, goodness. A plant parent's work is never done, am I right? <laughs> There's always something. There we go. And then my Ruby Taniki is always dry, so yep. Is that gonna overflow? Super handy. All right, maybe you're over. And my Matilde, and then behind that, which I know is also dry, is my Mexicanum. There we go. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Okay, there's sparkles everywhere. Yay, Christmas. All right. There we go. And those ones are done. So let's check out my ginormous bilati and the stuff on my wicker shelf. And then I think that's it for watering. Okay, here is my bilati. It's like absolutely massive. I don't know if it's really coming off uh, how big it actually is, but she's huge. And she's got a new leaf coming out right here. Um, so let's give her a check. Oh, that sounds dry even. Oh yeah, she's super dry. Sometimes you can just tell by the sound, you know? Okay, we'll let that soak in. <clears throat> now behind her, is some plants that you guys don't usually see very often. <laughs> Here we go. 
Uh, so here I have my Orbifolia. I know it needs water, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. And then we have this little pickle plant. We'll give a little slurp too, they don't need much. These little cacti we'll give a little drink to. And my little spider plant. Eli, my dog just tooted audibly. <laughs> and then I have a Hoya here. And there's one down there, but I can't get to it, so I'll water it later. It's probably not very thirsty anyway. Okay. All right, I think that's all the ones that I needed to check on. Whew, another task crossed off the list. Okay. I think that's all I'm gonna do today. I do have to get my face put on and everything. And then um, I've gotta film that other video. So I'm gonna go put my face on and then I'll come back and say goodbye and I'll film an intro so I don't scare everybody half to death. And um, yeah, look at this, it's snowing. Can you see? It's so bright. Hold on, let me flip you. Uh, this is the first like real snow of the season. And it's like coming down. It has been snowing all morning. Ugh. Hopefully it's gone by tomorrow when I have to drive in. I hate driving in snow so much. Because I'm a big chicken. Anywho. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll be back once I look not like this. Okay. <sighs> so. That happened. Anyway. <laughs> I appreciate you guys if you're still here and you sat through that whole thing. You know, you guys, you guys are the real ones. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really appreciate that. It helps my channel so, so much, uh, especially with me right now only posting one video a week. It really, really helps for you guys to watch all the way through and engage with the video. Even if you don't write a comment, if you can write like a smiley face or some sort of emoji or something, that would be huge and don't forget to give it a thumbs up that's a nintendo <laughs> anyway sorry um <clears throat> okay as promised i am going to announce the next subscriber involved video challenge so what i want you to do is go to this email address in the title of the video or uh, the email i want you to write and here's the video um i want you to pick the one place in your whole house, in all of your plant collection, that's like the best view. That could be a shelf, that could be like one plant, but just the way the sun comes in on it, something like that. It could be one of your cabinets. You know that place in your house where you just look at your plants and you're like, I could sit here and I could stare at this one spot forever. That's what I want. And this may be a challenge because I have a few places like that around my house. And so, but you know what? It's a challenge video. That's your challenge. So go forth and be challenged. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys so, so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help for my channel and I really do appreciate it. Also, check and make sure if you're still subscribed because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people to me, from me, all the time. <laughs> Super frustrating. Uh, also go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. It's an okay time over there. We post uh, little video stories and we do photos of plants or whatever happens to pop into my head that day. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So I would like you all to have an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I love you all to bitty bits, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!